Hey, you guys. Oh, I forgot to have my opening of the show, Sunglasses. We had some uh, technical issues and uh, some streaming issues, and so we're going live right at 20 minutes after the hour. It's 4.20 with our, for our friends in the East Coast. So uh, guests, start smoking. Yeah. Just smoke something. Yeah, I want this yeah. one. Hurry. <laughs> the minute is upon us. Yeah, we're doing it. I didn't know people so stoned were so on such scheduled freaks, man. Well, you know, it's a, it's just a fun. Yeah, I mean, I don't ritual. want to throw the fascist word around, but uh, yeah. It's fascist. Four twenty is fascist. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> four twenty. If you smoke at four twenty, you're a fascist. Four twenty. I smoke at four nineteen. That's why I smoke at nineteen after and twenty one after. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm Fuck against that. the man. <laughs> Fuck the man who likes weed, man. I don't care, man. <laughs> You're from Michigan, man. Enjoy living out here, really. Are you enjoying oh, it? Yeah. Come on, where are you from? The <laughs> Livonia? Ann Arbor. <laughs> Ann Arbor. <laughs> Livonia. Oh, so that is the worst sounding town. <laughs> like, where are you from? I'm from Livonia. It's got all the bad consonants and vowels yeah. in it. There's worse town names, though. Regina. Coon Rapids. <laughs> uh, that's still a place. Really? Yeah, let me introduce all you guys to the viewers. They saw your names flying through space, but uh, Chris Robinson is here, you guys, with the Chris Robinson Brotherhood. And his good friend, what do you like? What do you like to be? Go you like to just go as Farmer Dave? Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> <laughs> Farmer Dave is here. Yeah, man. We finally got Farmer Dave on the show. And uh, and our friend Zach Perlman's back. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I had love such Michigan. a fun time uh, with I him the too. last time. Yeah, in Ann Arbor. That's a, that's one of the leading. Uh, hash bash. You know, yeah, hash bash. And, uh, and Michigan was one of the, I think, the first Midwest state to uh, have medical. And also famous for throwing John Sinclair into jail for all those years for two joints, the head of the White Panther Party and the MC5. Fives manager. Yeah. And John Lennon wrote a song about him. And so that was a good day in Michigan. Yeah, yeah, history. that was all me, too. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine Ann Arbor people. <laughs> Living their lives in jail. He got out. <laughs> he got out of jail. Finally. Well, that's good. Liberate me. Thank you. Do you understand or know what's going on with uh, Ohio and their uh, attempts for legalization? Because oh, apparently, I, I was going to stop you before legalization and just say no. Oh, okay. Just straight up, Nobody I have knows no idea what's going, what's going on. on right oh, can you pass me the? You can't. Uh, you can't give birth to like a ba your own child in your own house in Ohio. I'm sh uh, uh, that's illegal. So I'm sure smoking weed is going to be right on the docket, right behind that. In terms of uh, personal freedoms, well, is there's that like some. Well, there's some apparently, and I don't understand the whole. That's why I asked you. I thought you might have known, but uh, apparently there's a bunch of. Uh, companies sort of got together and they figured out that if they push to get, if they put a lot of money into legalizing weed in Ohio, then they'll have the, you know, they'll have the uh, corner on the market for all the kind of profits you can get off of selling shit in Ohio. Yes. And so that those people are, uh, now being opposed by some other people in Ohio that are just for legalization without corporations being behind it. Yeah, I think that's what's going on. Well, that's what's gonna. I mean, <laughs> that's what's gonna right. happen everywhere. That's, that's what's happening everywhere. But I'd rather people be out of jail. You know, like I. It, but dude, you'll also be able to have a choice. It is, you'll have a choice to be like, do you want to buy corporate weed? I mean, you know, yeah, or, hey, grow, yeah. or grow it. You can grow it. Or do you want to? Or, no, or do you want to? Or do you want to stay with people who are like outlaw before the whole trip went down and stuff? You know what I mean? It'd That's be like anything ticket. else. Like there are a lot of people who've been growing a lot of weed and living this culture and stuff. But hey, I agree with you, man. People not you know, having their lives ruined and the stigma attached to like it being wrong or whatever, that's super positive. Well, yeah, the but we used to be thing that's happening to black Now guys. we're patients, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, uh, <laughs> absolutely. We all have to have taking our the own relationship out with the plant and that's gonna be what evolves this whole We've had deal. to show too much patience, if you ask me. <laughs> Understood. But that's why national legalization things are starting to come Dude, together. So we might not have to wait for every state to weigh in. It There's a lot of old heads flip. who probably have it on us though, dude. Like Ooh. guys who like used to really be in the, you know, the weed business and, and old heads and everyone who really dealt with brutal legal system and brutal times. When we, the CRB played the event in uh, San Francisco, Hardly Strictly, Bluegrass, the big free concert Golden every year. Golden Park, beautiful. Amazing time. And uh, Les Claypool and the duo de twang were, they were <laughs> playing 
on the stage behind us, and there was like 15,000 people out there and the cloud of smoke, and I just had a tear, like I wish all the old hippies who got in trouble could come here. <laughs> they would be so happy to see this. Yeah, it's pretty amazing, some of the uh, festivals Doug, and stuff I've been to lately. Yeah, we do. Where is it's it? a big industrial strength one. Wow. 21st century yeah. CR. Wow. Wow. Mine is still <laughs> done by a mule team that goes around. I have a certain... couple little gnomes. They like walk <laughs> around the treadmill. But yeah, festivals where everybody just gets to sit around and smoke are a pretty pretty amazing thing, and uh, I just hope that you know everywhere becomes our that other way. cities. But isn't it funny? The money makes it that that you're right. I mean, besides the fact that people like in Colorado and places like California too, it's hard to put people in jail. I'm I'm gonna do this one. It's hard to put people in jail to have a jury say, well, "What did he do wrong?" You know, they don't put you in your your peer, peers don't want to put you in jail. Yeah. I mean, unless maybe you're in Mississippi or something. Well, Sorry, that's Mississippi. Is. That's where like it shouldn't it's even be. True. It shouldn't even be a strike against someone, you know. And a lot of places, it's a citation now, and you even wouldn't, New York you wouldn't City. even know. And yeah, the city yeah. they chase, huh? Mm-hmm. And Philadelphia. And but the tombs were like the last uh, real authentic New York spot you could go to without any corporate takeover. Do you know, know where the tombs are? It's the fucking jail there where everyone goes to jail when you're like got busted with an eight yeah. ball or a joint or you hit someone in the mouth or whatever. They took you to the tubes. Or in, in the case of some of my friends, you had uh, illegal firemen's plaques in your car to park where you wanted. <laughs> well, whatever. <laughs> you know, that was after, you know, that was after nine. Fireman plaque. Yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> Outlaw styles, man. Live and well. It was cool until he got arrested. Yeah. 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 But that's usually the way outlaw culture works. I actually think that's pretty much everything you do before you get arrested. You think it's pretty cool. Otherwise, why the fuck would you be doing it? Jail can be a focus, man. You can go in there with consciousness and come out more powerful than ever if you strike me down. <laughs> <laughs> Look what happened when they... We had weed growing in the fields. Day. Growing in the fields, and they said, no, you don't. And we had to go indoors, and look what happened. We controlled the sun cycle, the energy cycle. Weed grew more powerful than ever. For we are the shamans. Yeah, and now it's coming back. Now it's coming out. And at first, oh, I have to say something's wrong with me. I'm injured. Now it'll be OK socially. That'll go. Yeah. Then the, but you got to watch yeah, out. Yeah, not having to lie is going to be fun. <laughs> but yeah, big, different. Big not having to go in and get the license is going to be you know, more fun. Big companies, though, man, giant industrial companies. I'm not They'll saying they'll get their mitts on it for sure. People have to have their own relationship, connect yourself to the earth and the universe, and this is a beautiful way to do it. Uh, Here you we don't go. need any corporation for this. <laughs> Nicely <laughs> said. Farm <laughs> out, FD. Where do you put the thingamajigger? Oh, I don't On the skeleton's happens. nose. Oh, that's cool. You should go on uh, CNN and debate Nancy Grace. <laughs> what about all the CNN yeah, assholes? We could do that I right now. I would love to see we him talk We could do that right now. Dr. I can talk. I'm Nancy Grace. I can do a Nancy Grace. Dr. Dr. Drew asshole I can play Nancy Grace. <laughs> Dr. Drew's the worst. Like, like it's like 1940s. Of, you know, like it's like reefer madness with that guy. If you oh, she's him. much worse than him. Oh, she, like, she's managed to land way on the Nancy, other side of him. Nancy she, Grace quote. Nancy yeah. Grace. She knows she more knows, about rape kits than anyone I've ever seen. She knows. <laughs> yeah. She knows so <laughs> little much. about the real world. It's, <laughs> it's so weird that she's it's unbelievable. She has a show. She's only into it's marijuana crazy. now because she's got this theory that people are doing awful things to their children because when they get high and then they oh, give, yes. give the yeah, kid a cookie or a joint You're or absolutely something. right because the, the worst thing it's the crazy. worst thing you could do is uh, be like Nancy Grace and uh, does she have children? She does. She 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 gave birth. She yeah. did. She has offspring. Well, they must be fantastic little people who want to know all the facts before they run their mouths too. Yeah. yeah. No, she amazing. doesn't. She is not there when she had two chains on. When she had another advocate on, she wasn't there to learn. She wasn't there to yes. find out about the subject. She was just, she was just there to shout like her agenda in their face. Yeah. These are we have to learn how to be a satellite. You can't you can't feed you can't oppose you can't use the energy of opposition. Somehow we're going to have to learn how to catch that and just like turn it without going turn against. Well, that's you, why I make fun of it. Yeah. And, yes, yeah. yes, yes, man. And yeah. uh, that's cool. Because her big argument that she kept saying over and over again was, <laughs> but a two-year-old ate a marijuana cookie. Hey. How can you have that on your car? 
conscience. Of course. That, screaming that. Of course, at, at a person who of was course, not involved with that incident. And that is a and bad just thing. said that's a bad thing that somebody else did. And then, by the way, it is a bad crazy. thing. Bad things on all kinds of drugs and on all kinds no of drugs. not even on that's drugs. Not, <laughs> people are bad sometimes. People do fucked up shit. Yeah. Like, what does that have to do with weed? And by the that way, weed is stopping so much fucked up shit. It is sad, so but much, yeah. I mean, nothing. It can't. Nothing happened that could make his little heart stop or anything. I mean, I mean, it's kind of true. I mean, it is horrible and irresponsible. Yeah. Oh, totally. But Nancy Grace, relax. You know. We have an issue. Is Nancy Grace oh, on the phone? We're going to break. We're going to break because there's an issue. Nancy Grace is on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> And it's an old phone we'll that you be dial right like that. back <laughs> after this marijuana cookie. <laughs> I was in uh, the eighth grade. I had a girlfriend, and her father uh, knew. Michael Jackson, and they offered us to go out t to Neverland. It was the 4th of July weekend, and they were having a whole fireworks, and I did the whole thing. I, I met <laughs> Bubbles. It was r probably months before the whole lawsuit. And in fact, Macaulay Culkin came by, as were all the other the boys that sued him, and I, Macaulay Culkin sped up in a in a golf cart with flames on the side and jumped out with like a leather jacket and he was like a real punk, and I went in Mac and Mike's theme park, it was a water park that he and Macaulay made themselves, they built basically like, what every kid would ever want, it was all built in water guns, flood buttons and all these water balloons and all the little Culkins were doing impressions of him, like, hee <laughs> and we won, and then we played a game which now, as I uh, recall it, it, does sort of seem slightly incriminating, but um, it was, well, it was called Smoke Tag. We went into a room filled with uh, smoke, and we played tag in it, but you, you couldn't see. <laughs> Yeah, the rolly papers that uh, Chris is using now is, are known as Roars. Where? Uh, in Queens, in Brooklyn, the, the, it's spelled R-A-W, but I know people that it's, which would say, the, I mean, to me, that roar. that word is raw, but roar. the way they say it, roar. Like a lion. Like a lion, man. roar. <sighs> Give me the roars. But one, I, but people talk funny. I was in Tennessee, <laughs> they and I saw a guy when they used to have uh, Tower Records, and he was this old boy in there, and he had a... The Tennessee Vols orange shirt on and a Tennessee Vols orange hat, and I was walking past him, and he had a CD in his hand, and he had this giant cell phone, and he goes, "What? No, I'm at Tire looking at tapes." And Tire, T-I-R-E is the same word as T-O-W-E-R. Tire. That would land better if Tower Records was still a thing, maybe, maybe. And he was looking at a CD. Um, you want to light it with the with the monkey lighter? Or no, no, set monkey? No, no. Here, check this out. Check this out, Farmer Dave. <laughs> this is your official set monkey. Is uh -huh. he a flute? And pass it to Zach. You might no, want him to hold it, it too. Don't don't light your lips on fire. It's an incendiary device. owned monkey supposed yeah. to have diapers on them? What do you think of that thing, Zach? Project X. What do you think about it, Zach? I, I guess uh, nobody I guess will do it. He writes the word boner on What would you say about it? What's the first thing you think about it when you're holding it? Yeah, I'm gonna give it back. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a setup or anything. I'm just it's, it's interesting. It's unbelievably terrifying. It's truthfully <laughs> why? Because <laughs> out of nowhere, a monkey just lights on fire. That's how we got here. <laughs> <laughs> We started from a monkey on fire, and that's the well, look. Man. His his crown. That's the missing link. His crown that's chakra it. went. And that was the meeting for the relaunch of the Planet of the Apes movie series, Monkeys on Fire. Monkeys on Fire. We're not and then that Taylor any Swift of the song prepared came stuff out. today at all. What was prepared? What do you oh, have? Oh my God! Look at this huge stack of blue cards. We've, let's we've do gone fast. through like oh, one yeah, of them. Yeah, blue cards. Go. Let's do fast. Speed Sativa, Snozberry, Indica. Sativa, Snozberry, Brain Alert, Heroina, uh, OG. OG. Do you think heroina is? A f do you think that's funny or in bad taste to call call it heroin? It depends how good it is, really. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> if it's something that we need, if it can back it's it hilarious. Up. If it's something not so good, eh. 
<laughs> what is? Yeah, I'll I mean, take it again. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if we the, have to get heroin in. I think with as our the weed. science evolves, the name of the different flowers we develop might be a little more indicative of the specific purpose of it. Healing, the best sex ever. You know, you can actually the trichromes yeah, and think, cannabinoids. What do you will think evolve. about the corporations or someone buying or registering the old <laughs> names? Acapulco <laughs> Gold. <laughs> Turns them into Darth Vader, apparently. No, no, no. They're, they're living on life support. Oh, right? well, thank you. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're old. They're old. They're old. We, 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 old we will, people are know. ruining it for everybody, for sure. It's a new century and a new millennium, <laughs> and new energy will. It, it's gradual, but I like your style. Let's get in there and feist this up a little bit, man. We don't need to yeah. wait. Hot nut style. Yeah. Hot nuts. <laughs> why not tomorrow? People write to me all the time. Well, how long do you think it's going to take for complete legalization? I'm like, how? Next week? Well, let's do it. Like, what's the? Yeah. What's the holdup at this point? The money. I got pot topics. Let's do some oh, pot no. topics, you guys. It's why old white males are holding it up, who run everything and are horrible people, <laughs> who are ruled by fear and ignorance. Those. Is that what That's it. Exactly. Cool. They I have, saw. They have babies too. They have hearts, man. They're just coming from another conditioning. They are, yeah. If you, if you, if we had one more, of them long enough like, in a room, seen, I think we could get them. Farmer Dave, way trending, way. hashtag trending towards kind. Uh. <laughs> empathy, empathy. Yeah, yeah it's about care. They care. Well, but they care, no, but they just care empathy. about their own, you know. They don't, they, they care don't about what, that, yeah. you know, their, their own families, which is, you know, that's noble, but how about care, just care about everybody. It's not that hard to just go ahead and care. No, that's why I'm, that's why <laughs> I like this style, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hashtag empathy. Hashtag heavy monkey. <laughs> monkey on fire. And collectivize. Go I, ahead and I stare at the phone. Dude, you're about to get super political. That's a lot to read right there. Enjoy that. That's heavy. He can do it. <laughs> Look at yeah. what he's got in his hand, man. He's ready to deal I the deal. I just sit there and stare at it, and some dudes from Sweden made fun of me for it. But uh, come on, every Sweden. talk show now it's worth its salt has some cards on the table that they look at and they read from. <laughs> Senators Cory Booker, did we play the pot topic music? Yeah. Okay. I heard it. Um, Kristen Gillibrand <laughs> and Rand Paul. That was a killer weed. Pot topic. <laughs> that's like if you know anything about these these people, Cory Booker, Kristen Gillibrand, and Rand Paul. That's three you know very different uh, politicians, uh, both sides of the aisle, and they've introduced a, a Senate bill that would legalize medical marijuana under mm. federal law and reclassify marijuana from Schedule One to Schedule Two. And its name is Careers Act, the Compassionate Access, Research, Expansion, and Respect States Act. Yeah! yeah. And that's why the conservative Rand Paul is into it, because that's the whole sort of like his part of the Republican Party is super into uh, states, states deciding rights. on their own. Yeah, yeah. See, states that's rights. how you Because they want to secede from the union. They want to get out. Do it! That'd be amazing! <laughs> We have nothing. Yeah, that would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Everything would be perfect if they had their own place. Yeah. Nothing would. <laughs> Here's more stuff about Ohio. I think we got. I think we covered that. A New Hampshire. The primaries. Has a. That's all I know. They had a hotel with a They bear passed a in. bill 297 to 67, the Republican know. You know, majority house. I know people in uh, New Hampshire politics, by the way. Let's just say. I don't want to discuss it anymore, but uh, pretty deep in New Hampshire. I'm just teasing. You made a few calls. <laughs> got them to. You just couldn't turn that 67. Yeah, well. 67 people still voted against it, even though they might have known that it, which way it was headed. Look what happened. Look what happened to our country. <laughs> it's really, uh, I just love Colorado not having any problems, because there could have been some problems that were a coincidence. You know the only problem in they Colorado? they could blame on pot. You know what exactly. happened when, the, when they did change the law in a weird way, like the, the CRB played New Year's Eve at this place there. We have an awesome scene there, amazing people, the best super cosmic heady times. But when they changed the law, it went from like, 
super, super hedonistic, amazing, drugged out, abandoned to like, now you can't smoke in the vent. You know what I mean? Before it changed, it's weird. Now they kind of force the other stuff on another way, which is cool. You just have to go outside when it's 16 below zero and get stoned or whatever. The, uh, the outlaw thing was what was what we came up in, and it, the world seemed cool in that regard, but there's a bigger cause, and so, yeah, we have to freeze our took us off for a little while at least. But it's funny how it changed, that, that element of it. But Colorado, is, Colorado is hip, man. There's a lot of hip stuff going Beautiful on Beautiful place to play music. Yeah, very, yeah. very, very nice. <laughs> the psychedelic scene there is really hip too. People are really, uh, wow, they should, a lot know, of heads there. This should be on a, uh, you know, they should use this for their tourism. Uh, for, come to Colorado, <laughs> exactly. yeah. Come to Colorado, you guys. Yeah. Maybe they'll just throw it in on one of those. Like, come come, come get Mountain High. Come, come to Colorado, yeah. Get Mike Dalton again at Network, and we'll get him to call the people there. And... I know there's some places, like uh, the Cannabis is probably excited that that's that we're uh, mentioning, uh, talking so much about there. You guys got a, you got a show, a CRB playing in uh, uh, somewhere around there? In Colorado? Yeah. Uh, yes, we, we will. I be. think so. I can't, yeah. They I gave mean, me a whole list of dates that you're playing. I thought it'd be fun to, to read them all. Yeah, that'd be amazing. And tell, tell a story about each town. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a long one, you guys. Gonna you just name a city and we'll tell, you if they, we'll tell you if it's good or bad. So we're running on a regular clock, even though people aren't seeing it still? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to still go to a break at some point. And, be like a regular show eventually. It's good. That's a great yeah. show. It's running. I love it. And there's no one's watching it. I just wanted to be clear what was oh, happening. Oh, we're back on. Okay. Yeah, everything's fine. Appreciate the heads up on that. <laughs> <laughs> this is for the box set. I'm gonna look extra crazy on this episode when they look at the archive because they're not gonna realize that it was out for a lot of the time. Anyway. Um, Denver, Colorado. See, what did we say? We told you we'd May be there. May 15, 16. I think I'm there like almost approximately around the same time. Well, you should change your plans. I do a show there every year on Mother's Day because in Denver, people, don't, people care more about pod than their mothers. <laughs> so they come out. Normally comedy clubs are empty on Mother's Day because it's a weird thing to do with your mom. Yeah. You know? So nobody comes. Mm. I'd put on a weed show in Denver, boom, sold out. I think the moms are in there too. Sure, they were. I think they're of course. There, man. Yeah. You mean the cool moms? Yeah, they got cool moms everywhere, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> You're playing some awesome, uh, awesome gigs. We truly are, Big yeah, Sur. You're, you're, you're just traveling around. You're, you're just skipping only going to towns places. where it's legal, except for Salt Lake City, which is I a cool. I think there's a lot of cool it's people beautiful. there. You know what? I'm gonna say it. I don't, I don't care to the tens of millions of people watching this live all across Europe. Thank you for you know. outer galaxies, man. Salt Lake City's kind of hip, man. I used to kind of be afraid oh, yeah. of it. And let's I, acknowledge the aliens that are picking up these phrases. Right. Multi-dimensional aliens. Sorry about the technical glitch. <laughs> you're probably Blurk, advanced and could teach us Blurk, 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 Blurk. Oh, you're talking to them in their language? Yeah. Well, yeah. I was translating. Oh, okay. they, can, they can hear you. You're welcome. <laughs> I thought they'd just know English if they also... No. Okay. They want some Skittles, man. Um, That's why they keep molesting everyone, to figure out the language. Australia can't figure it out, though, quite yet, right? Uh, Legality-wise, like, they're still, it's still frowned upon. The Tam Canadians? I was promised a <laughs> thorough probing if I head back to that part of the world. Um, what? The yes. aliens are Australian. The land down under. Oh, yes. so they yes. do probings too. <laughs> I thought I was on this alien thing. Uh, yeah, they don't take kindly there. But last time I was there with the crows, yeah. man, we bought like eight pounds of weed, and uh, Amy said it, the tour should be called Can't Keep CR High Enough. It was unbelievable. I was like, what is this? Well, they might have. It was like Georgia, 1989 is what it was the like. The sciences weren't as far along because of the suppression. It hasn't, they've they got some things going on though, man. You get down there, you'll, you know, bring out your rain stick. You'll, you'll hear some things. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I dig it. Bring out your rain sticks. They have a lot of opal Did, in the earth do, there. Did you redo that? They have a lot of opal in the <laughs> earth there. So that, you know what I'm saying. They get to just go to sleep and travel around places when they're ready for that, you know. And then get back before they become uh, pale and unhealthy. 
<laughs> Oldest people on the planet down there? The Aboriginal records? Very ancient. Very How ancient. old? <laughs> Maybe I think the world had a jump rope and was like, no, 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 it was pretty new. There might have been a dinosaur or two around, an oversized platypus. They got the weirdest animals down there, too. It was a little puddle that seems to have maintained a fossil and memory record of the Earth for a longer time than other places. Until it became a prison. A uh, prison you don't colony have that for on your blue card, Doug. Uh, uh, westward. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> next card. Chris Robinson says next card. What about that, Doug? Yeah, I don't oh, know. I don't know. The prisons is that that those prison colonies in Australia were part of our one. westward European <laughs> okay, expansion, and we're all riding the wave of that. All of these legal legality issues are on the crest of the society that we were born into, and we can change and be a part of. We can rebel. We can uh, smoke these things to get out of it and find peace. But ultimately, I like where you're headed here, man, where we get together and move back into, into the land and into nature and into empowerment as a people and as a together thing, you know? Not isolated for our own trips, but together. And that's where I think it's at, man, you know? I think that this is a beautiful way to get there. The I do medicine. enjoy getting high in, in an isolated way, though, as well. <laughs> I just you want to play some I, mean, I like to do it all. You don't have to move to the commune, but there will always be a place at the table for you, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can come out. <laughs> I appreciate that. It's like That's an easy very... rider when Dennis Hopper's all bummed out and Peter Fonda's eating there, and he's like, man, and he's all fucked up. And he's like, they're not going to make it, man. And Peter Fonda goes, hey, hey, man, we're eating their food. That's the heavy trip, man. I, I gotta say, he's he's definitely top five for me uh, celebrities I smoked weed with. Who, Peter Fonda? Yeah. My wife and I saw Nicest him. Nicest guy, I couldn't believe it. We saw him it. speak after the, he, at the Arrow Theater in Montana. We went to see The Hired Hand, his Western tone poem that he made after Easy Reiner. And he, he sat down at the end and I was like, Wow, Peter Fonda is so super mellow. I mean, like, how many quaaludes and blowjobs can you have had in a lifetime to make you that rad? You know what I mean? Like, like incredible. Yeah. And a hot tub, I imagine. No, I would, it was overlooking uh, a sunset in the Pacific Ocean. It was in Australia. And they were all blonde. Australia. It was in Australia. I was there doing a uh, stand-up comedy show, and he was there filming uh, Ghost Rider with Nick Cage. And, uh, and then, cool as hell. And then we, I, I recognized him in the elevator, and I was so excited that he's just like, "Hey, come, we're smoking weed in my room. Come back and smoke with us." And I was like, "All right." Did you get high? And we got high, and he, he like took out a guitar and sat there and fucked Peter around. Peter Fonda the guitar. gets better weed than the Black Crows in Australia. I mean, that's what I mean. He's that rad. Jesus. Did you see him in it was Escape, amazing. From L Escape from L.A., man? Do you remember what he did in that movie? Mm -hmm. He surfed the toxic <laughs> sludge wave, man. <laughs> the L.A. River. It's true, dude. It's the best. The best. <laughs> <laughs> no one asked him about that at the at the question and answer thing. I know. Oh yeah, we got to do this thing. I almost Whoa, forgot. What is that? You <laughs> right? It's crazy. I got to find the cool. card for yeah, it. It's cool, man. I got to put down this thing. <laughs> so this has been. I'm just going after that right now. So that's that's good that I had a lot of hits of indica. That's gonna speed this show up. <laughs> uh, this, ladies and gentlemen, is The Knockout. And uh, <laughs> for those who missed it, on last week's episode, Felipe Esparza uh, did a, uh, Esparza did a, um, a hit off of it, which is basically what you do is you put weed in here and you, uh, you uh, light it and you um, turn this upside down and you basically chug the beer, but then also the you get a marijuana hit like almost simultaneously, but then you swallow the beer and then blow out the hit. After you do that, do you like electronic music or what? I, uh, <laughs> high level did physics, I, man. Did I make any weird requests after I did it last week? I, I have a request, I don't, don't throw up on me. Yeah, yeah, it's it's kind of, it's it's for people no, that want to throw up on me. I like that kind of thing. You gotta want to chug a beer. <laughs> See, it's you, you know, with, that, shaman, with the man. way you dress, so it wouldn't really make that big of a difference if there was a you know, little... That's what I'm saying. I have a colorful diet. It would look good on you, I think. What did you eat today, man? 
Uh, uh, Brazilian omelet. Probably just, you know. Lots well, of Skittles, right? Yeah, Skittles. Taste the rainbow? Okay, let's go. I, saute, but, I sauteed a Brazilian flag. I added on a little eggs. <laughs> but the other fun thing about this is if you have one, you can just turn a, a bottle and with beer in it if, if you so desire. I know some people. Uh, or Mike's like Hard Lemonade, whatever. <laughs> Uh, you could <laughs> a Zima. Like I was going to go into right. There's a million beverages we could. Is that a Zima um, or a Yuhu? But um, you whatever bad. you want to have oh, in it, you just have an instant uh, water bong with any bottle. Mm. I get it. Yeah, that's a handy. So that's a that's man. a fun thing. <laughs> See, that's would be like so scuba gonna, diving so I'm just today. Hit Too much like to think about. Regular bong. That's tech. This is high physics. He's just doing the regular bong hat. And it, 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 it. Listen. See, it's a regular bong. I like that. It's very uh, keeping the smoke nicely there. <laughs> Containment. Containment level six. Containment level six. I like it. See, as a bong, that's a good idea, but I don't know about the I thought the you whole were going to drink, drink it at the it, same yeah. time. Yeah. Are you not supposed no, to drink that's, your I was bong showing water. the other thing you could do with it. <laughs> this thing is for the multitasking. <laughs> Alcoholic slash. By the way, how bored would you get? It, but you'd have one beer and one like bong hit, and then like the next time you'd have to pour it in and do, or do it again. Oh, you're supposed to do it with just any bottle. Your beer bottle, you just put it on there, and then you. Well, they've been nasty. saying you could chug any beverage, but like, who would want to chug like a Pepsi or something? <laughs> <laughs> I, I do cool when I was when I was Pepsi yeah, bong water taste. I like to chug Perrier. <laughs> when I was seven, it <laughs> makes uh, me feel like I'm did. drowning. My cousins and I at my cousin's wedding, we were under the table chugging Pepsis, and we were running around like little maniacs. I actually did puke that day. It's 19, uh, <laughs> 1984. But I shouldn't have known about that other stuff yet. I 1984. Was Did you go see the gun club right after that? Oh, I had no idea, man. I saw Ghostbusters. Uh. <laughs> so grip it, rip it, and then flip it for your bong hit. <laughs> the knockout is $30, and you can order yours at knockyourselfout.ca. I'm, I'm prepared to offer you $25 for that one. Check the description <laughs> box below for more information. So we're showing, to you, more, showing you more information right now on that. But, Gabe, would you ever do that to, to a bottle of beer? No. What if it was half a beer? Gabe, okay. you're such a pussy. Did you say yes? Okay. <laughs> yeah, half a beer. Like, I did three quarters of a beer last week, and it was, it was probably a bit too much. But I think half a beer wouldn't be so bad. So maybe in the, after Gabe does his trick today, uh, we'll set up half a beer for him and uh, have him do it. Yeah. Well, what about sangria? And sit down, too. That's what I would recommend. I'd recommend you not do it in a standing position. Because you have a big bong, be too chunky. You have a big bong rip and a, and a whole beer <laughs> and in it's one, also in one knockout, in right? One, yeah, eggnog. So, yeah, eggnog bong. We get it. It knocks you. Yeah, out. we recommend you sit down. Where's the heavy machinery? Come on. Do you have a backhoe we can bring on here? I'm trying to plow right now. Well, I'm just curious. <laughs> <laughs> trying to plow. <laughs> I'm trying to find your plug card, uh, farmer. It's one of those blue ones. Does anybody ever just call you farmer? Yeah, or you know FD. FD, dude. I've heard oh, that, yeah. FD, I like that. Yeah. Fire department. I like FD. Only people yeah. in the know really call me. The whole FD. farmer, Dave, just makes me feel you know like I'm just being like I'm trying. Now to... Now you're gonna go home and, and get all the uh, Farmer Dave's music, man, and you're really gonna be freaked out. Well, tell us about what you brought on the table there. You've got some uh, some hot nuts. Hot nuts, hot nuts, you want them, I got them. Hot nuts, hot nuts, okay, roll them out. It's a natural snack. They got some heat on them, Jack. Farmer <laughs> Dave's roasted hot nuts. Hablamos de español. Bum, bum. Wow. They say the jingle is dead. That's Long a great, that jingle. Is a great ad, man. Outdoor, outdoor organic uh, sativa from the California coastal regions and uh, a recipe of a... Uh, Dear relative of mine, anyone who'd like to try them, uh, they're delicious. They're not, they're not knockouts. You know, a brownie is saturated in oil and sugar and things. An almond can be soaked, but at some point, it's a solid entity. So you can also measure it out. One almond. I have friends who eat fistfuls, and others who oh. should never. You know, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some people almond? should never. Okay, man. All right, we got to go to another commercial break, you guys. I've got I'll the whole show you. in order now. It's going to run really smoothly. Uh, when do we start? Now when we come through? back, and we'll be right back with more live with these three guys. <laughs> In 
know how I like power bars? Yeah. The thing is, they're really expensive. So I started making my own at home. That's great. Yeah. But the cinnamon is really tricky. I always add too much cinnamon or not enough cinnamon. Can't even imagine what that's like. And I've been a fool and, and I've, I've been blind. Just the perfect amount of cinnamon. Really? I, I can I see no way. I can Don't see drink no the sulfuric way. acid. I'm always dragging that horse around. Our love is pastured such a mournful sound. Tonight I'm gonna bury that horse in the ground. So I like to keep my issues strong. Thank you so much, guys. I'm a millionaire. You know, this is the first week in a long time I haven't gotten into a fist fight. Somebody named Brandon Ramsey Er <laughs> uh, wants to know when you guys are in a bind, this is for everybody and you don't have uh, papers or pieces, what is your go-to makeshift smoking device? Apple, man. Right? Every it's always an apple. But I've made I a... prefer an apple over a lot of things. I should just make an apple every apple. day. Apple. You know that around. You know what a couple, if you don't have an apple, a lime acts as a little percolator. Lime pipe, it can be messy. But a papaya, <laughs> a papaya, or as I call it, a papaya. <laughs> Don't squeeze it near your eyes. The papaya is a great vessel as well. But the apple always works. And if you have hash, under glass. I don't know. The oh, glass same magnifique. The old European tour method. Yeah. What does that mean? You take the, you take like, you always had a sewing <laughs> kit at the hotel. Uh -huh. And if you didn't have a pipe or anything, and you and back in the like early 90s and stuff, you could never get weed in regular Europe. But hashish was. But you get hash form, everywhere. Yeah. So you take a pin and you heat it. You, you take like a piece of cardboard. So the pin's sticking up like that. You melt the hash a little, you stick it on, you catch it on fire, you let it burn a little bit. You blow it out, you put the cup over it, over the edge, so you get air, and then it just fills up and fills up, and then you smoke it under the thing like that. And it's there later, you just leave it, It'll, it's not going anywhere. Yeah. I've smoked through so many weird, uh, you know, kind of uh, devices that people have invented in different parts of the world. You've probably done the same thing that, like, I can't even keep track of them anymore. They, they lay it all on you, all these vessels. There's, everybody's got some crazy new thing for me to smoke out of everywhere I go. And uh, it, it all moves so fast that you don't, it, it's not one thing for a long time. It's Dude, just like on to the next thing and the, the next like, thing. Vaporizer? Didn't even have time to be like a Bond villain accessory. <laughs> it like became successful before they could use it. <laughs> it's crazy. Sometimes. Where did it, that come from? How long ago was the vaporizer like disposable vaporizer? What the 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 ones the that like you, cigarettes that you can just I, like. I thought even been ones like that aren't disposable. Four or five years though, no. Even Recently. ones that aren't disposable, nobody's getting called in for them. They're like, I mean, maybe. Maybe some people are, but I'm saying that for the most part, it's a thing you can carry around All and even time. use in public. Yeah. Because it often has a different aroma than we Yeah, eat. it's crazy. But it's still just, to me, it's just like only if I can't smoke some weed. Yeah. That's what I'm going to vapor can, pen. Really. But don't if I can really smoke some weed, uh, that's, and even a vapor pen with yeah, weed man. in it doesn't bring me the same pleasure as just going so ahead and like smoking weed. Like I don't dislike it. Yeah, man, I'm, a I'm not STS. against any of that yeah, stuff. And some of them are pretty strong, which I like. Yes, uh -huh. man, mama, dangerous things there. Yeah, <laughs> so, man, this man, you don't want to have, have a Jack Blackout <laughs> <laughs> from one of those things. But that was, you know, because he wasn't uh, used to it. Yesterday, I was on a long flight. And when I smoked again, I kind of, I was like, that's what Jack Black must have felt like because he hadn't smoked for years. Oh yeah? And I had yeah, gone for like seven hours without smoking. I wish. So I, once I smoked again, I was like, oh, I get it now. Oh, it must be so, that must be so nice. <laughs> the, I dream of the fear creeping over me like it used to. 
<laughs> I love getting good and scared. Yeah, That's, me uh, too, like, man. Uh, if you uh, if you ingest some cannabis, go to like a Costco, put yourself out there, <laughs> <laughs> and just let it roll, man. It's great. It's very good for you. All right, it's a good Farmer social Dave. experiment. Farmer Dave's hot nuts. Don't forget about that, you guys. And we got some more plugs, but I'm going to do them right after you guys. Farmer Dave, you have your clubs tonight, huh? Uh, indulge yeah. us, and uh, my friend Gabe is going to come in here and do a magic trick for you guys. So, so come check that out. Hey guys. Hey, hey Gabe. How are you, man? Good, thanks. Quick card trick for you. You mind helping me, Chris? Are you gonna freak me out, Gabe? I'm gonna try. I hope you, I'm be very you sensitive. Wanna get, you want to get freaked out? Oh, Let's I just go. Yeah, I can't <laughs> contradict myself. Cards are all different, right? So you say. All right, pick a card, any card. Take Show it. it to your friends, yeah. All right, I'll take it back. I'm gonna place it back in the center, is that fair? Sure. There's a string that comes up through the center. If I pull the string, the card comes back to the top. I'll do it again slower. Okay. Watch. Oops. Back to the top. All right, uh, one more thing. String theory, man. Push it back in the center for me. <laughs> <laughs> nice, occult game. <laughs> occult mind tricks. Bravo. Yay. Good show. Good show. Are you going to chug your bong water now? Uh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so gross. <laughs> um, but I, I didn't mind chugging the beer. I did it. I did it last week. I don't want to do it again this week, though. But you know, you know how that goes. You already did it. It yeah, was. Man, I did it. it was just you chug like, a, once you've chugged a beer on your own weed show, I mean, what's the point? I mean, that's the thing that's kind of amazing to me about chugging beer in general is that like it's not something you'd ever do just by yourself. Yeah. It's like a show-offy yeah. kind of move or whatever. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not good at it, so it's just like everybody's sitting around oh. watching me going. <laughs> You know, you it's relax. going to the emergency room when you're wasted a show off move as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I got too fucked up and had to go to, uh, I don't even know where there's a hospital. My teeth got knocked out. I think alcohol is something, something that works well in bonding people and raising their spirits. And drinking alone can be great. You can write the great novel, but uh, it's better to lift and get, get together on that one, you know? Like, that's when you're going to shotgun a beer is when you can roar in triumph with your buds. I love okay, it. victory. I love it. Uh, Chris Robinson Brotherhood. That's me. CRB. <laughs> Betty's Blends, the best of the West, volume two, is going to be out on June 2nd. Truly. And you, what's the special thing that you're doing here that's well, unusual <laughs> about it? It's a small batch. It's small batch, a little dabble, do you? Uh, yeah, Betty, Betty Cantor Jackson of Betty of the Boards for all the people smoking weed who are into the Grateful Dead world out there. Uh, this is our second vinyl release. Betty recorded it. We're lucky that Betty brings her sonic guests to uh, the CRB. So she's been recording us, and this is a compilation of the best of her recordings from our last year being, you know, she, she usually only records us in California and Colorado and stuff, so. Um, and there's only 2,000 pieces of vinyl, only 2,000 CDs, only 2,000 downloads, and then it's gone forever, never this, to be seen This is super again. limited, it's gonna sell out right away, so get on it. Yeah, there you that's go. The, uh, that's the pitch there. And then you've got a beer on the table. That's Should unfortunately I'm in hand, so we can't chug it with this thing. But uh, yeah, now they have to make one of these that go on a can. Do you want yeah. me to hand it to you? <laughs> Hold it up, right? That's true. There That's it is. Awesome to yeah, invent that. The fine folks at Anchor Steam in San Francisco, the oldest independent brewery in the United States, were inspired by our scene, the CRB scene, and uh, friendship and stuff with them, and they and they brewed a beer, a gig beer, Brotherhood Steam, with great graphic artwork by the great Alan Forbes. He's sick. His posters are sick. So you, you even though it's alcohol, it's like having a little bit of drugs in your hand. You really know your own talking points. I do. It's impressive. I and do. then and then tell us tell us about the spring tour. I'll quiz you. Uh, <laughs> where, you go, where are you going? What do you need to know? You already skipped over all the mystic places and went straight for the weed places. Yeah, Colorado, California. Yeah, but we started Big Sur. It's beautiful, super mystical time. Maybe the wa Dark Watchers will come out and we'll Australia, see that. Australia, some festivals. He doesn't know about Dark Watchers, man. No, I don't. 
They're sentient beings who live on the central coast who only come out and are only show themselves to certain people. They're from another planet. They're giant beings in hoods and they come out and communion and stare at the stars. Doug. <laughs> that reminds me, Zach Pearl. Yule Hauser has a whole episode dedicated to them, I believe. Zach has, that reminds me of this movie Zach has me coming too. out. What? <laughs> dark Watcher. Look, look tonight, out. Tonight. It's, it's on out. the Lifetime Network. It's a different Dark Watcher. Oh. No, we moved on to Zach's plugs now. <laughs> and uh, I'm helping him. <laughs> he's going to be in a motion picture with Anne Hathaway and Robert De Niro. Are you the title of character? No, I'm not. Well, it says starring opposite Anne Hathaway. Like I, the three, no, that's, it's, like a, it's like a... It's a trio. Trio. Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean... Are it's you like in a, it the most like after cast. the two of them? I think maybe. Can I ask you a question about the movie? It. I haven't seen it. Can I ask you a question maybe. about the movie? Are there yeah. plot twists about it you don't know? Good what? catering? Was it catering? How was the food? It was great. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> Donuts every day? Every day. It's a big, well, Rob, you know, Bobby it's D. It's, it's a big called, budget. It's called The Intern. Yeah, Bobby, Bobby D. It comes out in, in the um, fall. Comes out in the fall. Do September, e I Do either one of them in the role that they play have to yell at you at some point? <laughs> um, do you get chewed out by one are of them? You the yeah, I, I, I'm the yeller. He's the yeller. Oh, you're yelling I somebody. saw that. I, 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 but it's like a panicked yell. Oh, uh, okay. You know. Do you look like this in the movie? No, I, I have a sh much shorter You look beard. much more angry and aggressive then. Because, yeah. yeah. And I you do got more giant, of, uh... angry eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he can tell, a real psycho. It's, great. it's an anime, <laughs> live action anime. You got a good uh, young Jerry Garcia thing going on, I think. Thanks. With man. all of it. <laughs> That's Jerry cool. didn't do the side part, but yeah, I get it. He didn't have it like that a little bit? No, no. Um, <laughs> side part's the, the new cool thing. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're young and cool. Mm. I have issues. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be doing a bunch of shows in South by Southwest, so if you have one of those uh, stinking badges, you can come see me. And I'm going to be in Charlotte, North Carolina, March 25th, <laughs> Portland, Oregon. Uh, see, Portland's a good, that's a good city for all of us to hit. I'll be at Helium. It's a gas on uh, April 3 through 4. And then uh, your neck of the woods, I got some shows coming up. Uh, Athens, uh, I'm going to be at the Georgia Theater. I mean, I've lived in California for 25 years, but sure, yeah. And Atlanta, you, you were uh, born just outside of Atlanta. I was eh? born in Atlanta. There you go. Yeah, my parents made the mistake at of the moving zombie to the hospital. Was that where you were born? <laughs> yeah, totally. When I, go back, it, when I go back, it feels like it. Is that the Walking Dead thing that everyone? Walking Dead, yeah, they, they, it starts in Atlanta. Um, but I'm going to be there at the Improv. I hope it's still there. Do you on, enjoy uh, it there when you're there? 412. You find that to be a fun place? I love Atlanta. I cool. have a great time there. But I've fallen into this thing where I, I keep talking about all the cities I love, and it turns out I just go places, and the people that come to my show are the people that want to see me that live in that city. So, of course, they're the nicest to me that that city could possibly be. But that's so the potential. So it makes me very city. happy. I, have a, you know, I smoke weed with everybody whenever possible. We have a good time, you know? But then I write the next day on Twitter that, you know, you're such a great town. And people write to me, but what about, you know, some small town that doesn't get shows, you know? Like Toledo or something? And it's <laughs> <laughs> Poor sorry, Toledo. I, play, we, I played Tol Toledo I played a few times. I played a club in Toledo a couple years ago, and it was the first time in my life I had to, had to have a safe word to get on stage. So it was weird. Wow. <laughs> that is weird. That's intense. Yeah, it was weird. DougLovesMovies.com. Also, you can get Doug merch at an address that we'll put up on the screen. And there won't be a new show for a couple weeks because I'm going to South by Southwest. Uh, in Austin, Texas, and weed is illegal in Texas. That that needs to change. <laughs> yeah, and, don't uh, fuck around with that, man. Thank you, Zach Perlman. Thank you, Farmer Dave, and your hot nuts. <laughs> Chris Robertson. Thank you so much. Thanks for the weed, man. That was rad. <laughs> yeah, this this weed is really. Oh, good. I didn't. I forgot to load it. <laughs> it <was good. laughs> This is family style. Yeah. See no. you. See you Monday, March twenty third at uh, two fifteen Pacific time, uh, five fifteen on the East Coast. The middle always has to figure it out. Good luck. We'll see you then.